Welcome to the Black Hat Lounge, where today we're keeping it cash on Critical Chemistry, a Let's Play series where we play the brutally difficult Dark Souls while still managing to enjoy each other's company. In this episode, we stroll through An Orlando, the golden city of the gods, and take a quick peek at Ornstein and Smo. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. Yeah. Okay. So, this is Anne Orlando. I'm sure you remember that. This is probably the episode that people who haven't watched so far will tune into. So, I think this is a great episode to do a lot of like get to know us kind of things. Okay. And we'll be asking the hard hitting questions that uh, people want to know the answers to. But first, hold on. Stand still. Where's my hat? <laughs> Oh, I can't, because I filmed an entire episode without my hat, and it's, it's called a Black Hat Lounge. I feel like I need it. Do you want to kill it? Um, you don't, but it wouldn't hurt to try. But you don't. I can try. You know what, hold on, you're just, there's a bonfire right around the corner. If you're going to try to mess with these guys, you should go there first. This way? Figure it out a little bit. Okay. Figure it out a little bit. Uh, ding, 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 there it is. Are those, are those real? Yeah, those guys, those they're real. Two of them? Yeah. Actually... Do they see me? I think they're statues, aren't they? Ooh, if you get close, they will oh. interact. They're not statues, no, they're very real. Um, Actually, asking if they're real or not will prompt a lot of argument with people that know Dark Souls really well. So you see that? You hit their shield and did nothing. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. Oh... Did you rest in that other bonfire? Yeah. I didn't see. Okay, where do you see yourself in five years while you're trying to take on this new enemy that you've never met before? <laughs> ah. Um, I don't know, me. Uh, five years would be 29. Gosh. I know, right? Icky. Um, so I see myself uh, married. Yeah. And with a few kids. A few kids at that point? Yeah. Cool, cool. By you. Um, Just don't have an Achilles guy. Definitely married with a few kids at least. Depending on whether or not the channel takes off, uh, might be <laughs> different avenues. But I would love, I would love to be. I don't know. Definitely super self-sufficient at that point. Yeah. Hopefully, have some luxury money to spend on a bunch of stuff <laughs> to spoil you with. Um, but yeah, absolutely married with a bunch of kids. Like seven or eight at that point. Five years from now? Seven or eight? Shut yeah. up. <laughs> if we had eight kids in five years, that'd be awful. That, that doesn't even make sense. Well, unless we like, got like... Yeah, like twins. Yeah. A couple of twins in there. How would that oh, You're gonna die on this optional enemy. <laughs> okay, but a couple of things. I'll give you some tips while you're going through this. You are perfectly... Like, look at his underneath. Boom. Perfectly human size. So you can evade him yeah. through there very easily and it's wise to there you go okay now what i'm gonna go reset it yeah probably <laughs> probably this place, this place is so big it is huge and that's why i wanted to ask a lot of questions so uh next question a favorite movie or like top three oh, okay. can a series be one? like a tv show no, like a like a whole, oh like, a whole series. Yeah, sure. Okay, Harry Potter. Okay. Hunger Games. Cool, cool. Um, what's that move? Oh, I love um. <laughs> Try to walk and talk because the point sorry. the point of the questions is to <laughs> I make sure. I don't know where I'm going. That you kind of know. You should know. I, I really don't. You know, I don't remember anything. About you want to? Okay, well, this is the general. Peanut Butter Falcon. Can I put a falcon? Yeah. Really? Wow. Um. Not here, I guess. Are you sure? Oh, down here? You couldn't have walked over that more perfectly for it to go down. I, I also want to say this is the most annoying elevator in the game. Really? You know how I have, like, I'm very opinionated about certain things. There's the most annoying enemy in the game is that one guy in the depths. Oh, yeah. This is the worst elevator and not only this game, but in most games I've ever played. Why? 
It continually moves whether you're on it or not. Oh. I mean... Get off it. Right now? Right now? Now, now turn around. What if you want to get on it right now? You wait. just have to wait. It's okay. No, it's dumb. There should be a lever that pulls it so you can instantly get down and get out. Okay. Oh, I remember there, there's... Aren't there gargoyles here? Literally just turn to the corner. Boom, gargoyle. Oh, no. <laughs> Questions answered. Oh, I have to fight it? Yeah, but yeah, fortunately, definitely. it's my turn to talk about my favorite movies. So, oh, yeah. Uh, Wes Anderson's Grand Budapest Hotel, absolute number one favorite movie of all time. No questions asked. Uh, second favorite movie is Man from Uncle. I've been told that Kingsman was way better. It was not. Kingsman was terrible. I hated it. You watched it? I did watch it, and I hated it. Man from Uncle is far superior in every way. The, the witty banter, the characters, everybody's just so beautiful. Yeah, Man from Uncle, incredible movie. I wish there was a second one, but I'm also worried that it wouldn't do the first one justice. Mm -hmm. And third favorite movie, it's hard. Third favorite movie is my pivot pick, like it always changes. But I'm gonna say right now, probably Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. Really? It's just so sweet. It's really cute. It's so beautiful. Like that line, um, light bulbs die, my sweet, I will depart. It's just so beautiful. This part's gonna be hard. If I had you just look around for it for a long time, you would still probably miss it. Oh, I remember I have to go like up the okay, cool. this, right? It's, I hate that. <laughs> this is probably the worst heights bit in the entire game. Uh, is it here? Yeah. And then where, like... Up that, up the buttress. Which is probably one of my favorite phrases to say. Whenever guiding somebody in this game, careful because oh the camera does weird stuff on these little pillars here. It's just part of it. Move slowly because the camera will automatically do stuff. Yeah. There this you. Way? Yep. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Ooh, Hot Rod is also a really like good movie. I like those. Uh, I like these. Things. You do? Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, they look well, nicer than like. All the other enemies, like... Do you know what they're the called? rotting one. Yeah, that's true. Fair enough. These are just people... They're called painting guardians. Oh, they, uh... They do exactly what it sounds like they do. Guard painting? Yep. Because isn't this a painting where, like, the DLC is? So, I know? thought it was DLC for a long time. Oh, it's not? It's not. Oh. Yeah, it's part of the original game, which, again, just proves to me that they put so much behind these hidden things. Where? Oh, it's... It's down at the bottom. Look down. Look straight down. It's down there, like against how the wall that you're standing on. What do you mean? How do you get there? How do I get to the bottom? You don't need to. You're trying to look up. Look up. That's where you're going across right now. I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing. Look at the ladder. You're not going to the painted world right now. No, I know. I'm. I'm asking okay. you where I'm supposed to be. Oh well, I was trying to tell you a fun fact about the game. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, we'll get to that fun fact eventually. But. Oh, in the meantime, while we're up here, what is uh, two fears that you have? <laughs> heights. <laughs> fear of heights is a big one. Um, and fear of dying, or like my loved, loved ones, ones dying. dying. Are you afraid of death? Oh gosh, yeah. Personally? Yes. Why? Because it's very <laughs> uncertain. What is that? What it's is very it? uncertain. Yes. Well. I mean, like, everyone, like, obviously dies, but it's, like, when and how. Oh, okay. That's what I, was, that's what I thought you were saying. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like looking down. I know, yeah. Try not to. <laughs> this shield, by the way, look at it. Every time you get hit, doesn't even take your stamina off. Well, with the, with the throwing knives. He yeah. dodged that? Careful, you're low on stamina. I know. Back off. You Remember, you can hit with your shield up with the spear. You can hit light attacks with your shield up, oh. not heavy ones. There you go. Also, I forgot to mention they are slightly weaker, but oh, it's okay. Uh. Some problems solve themselves. Some don't. Two fears of mine, probably spiders, and the opposite of yours. Well, I guess it's not not living. You know, I think I think 
death is going to happen and you have to kind of make your peace with that the earlier you make your peace with that the easier life gets so I'm I'm more afraid of living my entire life not doing anything you know mm-hmm. not existing or just existing I suppose right yeah okay this way yeah go ahead do I push it I mean, it's always a good good thing to do is find out what pushing might is doing. Sometimes it's better to get your bearings first, but... Uh-oh. Sheesh! 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 I'm losing my voice in the middle of it. Sheesh! Oh! In the world of that? The gargoyle. Still? There's another one. They always come in twos, babe. I am gonna die. Well, just heal. Don't. Have I told you about that stupid pro tip for video games? Like on the loading screen, it says, um, if you're having a hard time staying alive, try keeping your health above zero. <laughs> Gee, Willikers, man. That helps me loads. If I uh, would have known that, my yeah. life would have been changed. <laughs> I would have been a different person. Is there a bonfire, bonfire close? Because I only have two Estus Plus. Um, no, you're pretty far. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, remember these guys? Oh, yeah. Now they're more hostile than they were before. So, like, if you get too close, they will... So where where do I need to go? Because I remember, like, last time I did this, I would just, like, skip them. Um, you can, and it's somewhat, like, encouraged. Okay, see, they're looking at you now. <laughs> look around, look around. Big front door. Yeah. Um, obviously closed, and you can't open it from that there's side. There's one right there, right? Yeah. There's there's also another one on the left side, but it's closed. Good roll. I mean, you're trash. <laughs> um, next question. Are you superstitious? Where? Well, okay, keep running that way. I'm a little stitious. You're a little... <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, going? stop. I told you to wait here because look, they went back. Uh-huh. Their, their tether is only so long. You're safe oh, now. Yeah, so that's why I told I you to go there. These guys. <sighs> now you can kind of assess the next situation. They have a lot of them. Oh, also, you might want to consider switching your weapon because I think they're resistant to electricity. Oh, okay. Everything they do is kind of electric, also. So. <laughs> think that. <laughs> Sheesh, I swear, like, every time I play this game. My it does it feels like I can throw so much farther and I always play as guys. So I wonder if there's like a built in like pseudo sexist thing that like girls can't throw fireballs as far. That is messed up. Well there there goes all my Estes. That's okay. You are somewhat close to the next bonfire. It's just a heck of a ride. Mm-hmm. Nice. You know what's annoying? They have wings. Really? Yeah, they have wings, so why do they fall oh. to their death? Don't, that's death. Don't go that way. Okay. Well, I want to help you out a little bit. And Orlando is famously difficult. How did you lose health? Did you see that? Yeah. You just lost a little bit of health for no reason. What in the world? Hacks. Can you imagine if you were trying to do, like, a no damage run, and that just happened? <laughs> Wait, they're both the same thing I just yeah. saw, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. I mean, I uh, skip them. Skip them. I don't know where I'm going. That way. Up. Up. No, 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 not that way. The way that you were looking when I said that way. That way. Oh. 10,000 souls. Okay. Remember what I said? After a certain point, souls will become super easy to get. This is a place where you just want to focus on getting that run down. Do you have any good uh, get to know you questions? Um. We're in a hurt to ask if you ask too. What's your favorite book? Or top three favorite books? Favorite book, the Among the Hidden series is a. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, have you? No. No, it's a. It's kind of a. You've read it. I have not the whole series, but I've read like the first five books of it, which is kind of shocking, isn't it? I'm really not an avid reader. Yeah. Um, but I did read the first five books, and basically it's a, it's a dystopian world where you can only have two kids, and it takes place from the perspective of a of a third. He's a third child. Mm-hmm walk around this whole oh, thing right. is yeah and uh there's like population police that will go out and find these third children and just kill them oh, dang. yeah it's a really really interesting 
series. That sounds cool. Yeah, oh, I loved it. I think I have the whole thing, too, still, if you ever want to read that. Yeah. And then right now, I'm reading Dune, and I really like it. It's such a hard, about, um, hard book to read. What about um, The Great Gatsby? Oh. I love Great Gatsby. For all of my English, like, English get-to-know-you things, I would say Great Gatsby is my... Because I love... Every time I'm having a really bad day... I can just sit down and read the fifth chapter of Great Gatsby and like I, f I feel What's like it? I learned yeah, something chapter. it's where Gatsby um, meets Daisy again for oh, the first yeah. time since like being, being in love with her yeah. yeah being away and it is it's just a great chapter it's okay nice. you can skip them you absolutely can skip them run back to your little corner oh no no it's too late deeper into it it's okay. Live and let live. Die and let die. But it sucks. <laughs> yes, it does <laughs> suck. I'm sorry. Right. Um, I was talking to Jen a little bit earlier about <laughs> Dark Souls love language. <laughs> Dark Souls, I was asking, like, what's your, what is your support language? And Jen told me sympathy. And I don't know why. I have the hardest time being sympathetic because... I love this game for its brutal yet fair style and it is important for me to acknowledge like yeah you died and that does suck. It does suck that you lost your 10,000 souls but those will come again. Yeah. Um, so my three favorite books mm -hmm. are the Harry Potter series. Fangirl? I know you read Fangirl and you liked that. I think, yeah. Okay. Fangirl. I remember you, you read Eliza and Her Monsters, but I don't think you oh. remember anything about it, do you? I do. Okay. I, that's, that's a good book. Um, I mean, I love YA books. That's, yeah. like, my jam. Also, for all those people that are like, oh, man, I wish I could totally forget this book and read it again with a new set of eyes. Me. Jen has that superpower. <laughs> she has uh, amnesia, where she just forgets things. That's why we're playing Dark Which Souls again. Which is kind of cool, honestly. It's neat, but also... But, but it kind of sucks, because I, I literally just read, like... I don't know. You read, a book. You read the and fifth like, Harry Potter for the second summer in a row. Yeah. If it's been a year since I read it, then no. Like, I, I can remember the story, but, I, like, I'm not going to remember, like, the little details. Right. Right. I get you. But well, you said I can skip them? Yeah, absolutely. And you should. Every time. Okay. Sorry. Well. Where is it? Le where left? It is. Right there. See that little path? No, no, no. You're on the... Oh. Well, you saw it, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. That does suck. I, I lose all points every time I acknowledge that I did it, right? <laughs> Harry Potter, fangirl, what's your third one? Because um, I'm imagining you're saying the whole series of Harry Potter right now. Yes. Yeah. I can help you with um some books that you've read. I know you've read... Uh, the, you don't remember it all, but that, that Hush Hush series, Hush oh, Hush and yeah, Silence. those were very good. You also read... People don't like oh, them. Uh, I don't know why. John Green books. Which people yeah. also sometimes are pretty critical about. I mean, The Fault in Our Stars is a classic. Oh, yeah. And, like, for Alaska, I just read. I just reread the summer. Oh, yeah. That Was that the book that you read that you don't remember? You didn't remember anything of? No, yes. I remember. No, you didn't remember the most important oh, thing yeah, about no, that no, book. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I didn't remember anything about it. Yeah. Because I read it when I was, like, 15. That's wild. That's so wild. What? Like, what? That, well, no, that we were just... I remember when you were reading that book. And we were dating, and that was almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Everyone's attacking me. Holy moly, left, right? Right. Both work, but right's easier. Keep your shield up, and just keep going up this thing. When you get to the top, you're going to the right. This is... This? Here? Yep. Yeah, up that. Just keep running, shield up, and you're going to the right. Hey, I remember this. This is where we're trying left. Where, where I tried left, to Left, right now. Right here? Yeah. That bridge, I didn't want to mention it while you are doing it, but that's one of the hardest parts of this entire game. Pe Yay. People have quit at that bridge before. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's our buddy. So this is the... This is the bonfire This is the bonfire. Hell. Yeah. Welcome to hell, ladies and gents. This is going to be a rough one. I'm here for you. You can talk to him if you want to. 
Why can I see if I'm if I'm not human? You aren't human. I'm not. Why can't? Oh no, he's not. Okay, good question. In Dark Souls, time is convoluted, so basically your timelines are lined up right now. If you aren't, or if you were human, my hair down a little bit. Oh no, how long was it done? <laughs> I just noticed it. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm gonna look so stupid for the first 45 minutes of it. Um, time is convoluted. Basically, if you're human, you can see into his timeline no matter where he is. Mm -hmm. But if you're not human, then you can only see him in your timeline when he's in your timeline. Gotcha. Yeah. That's a super complicated way of, or super simplified way of explaining a very complicated concept. No, we don't go up the stairs, right? You can. I'll tell you. But there's a shortcut. There's a shortcut, which is going halfway up the stairs and then jumping off of it. Right. But you should kill the guy behind first, because that'll make all of your life easier. And maybe, just maybe, you should bump up the uh, fire to 20, because that's this is the bonfire I thought of when I told you to go down to the catacombs. The, the what? The bonfire here, bump it up to 20 as it's possible. Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm because th that. this is the one bonfire that I was thinking of. How do you parry? Press the left trigger right when... All right, okay, okay. Hold up shield and let him attack. Not that one, but this one. Did you feel when the controller vibrated a little yes. bit? That's when you want to press the parry button. This is so hard. Just chill out. I'm um, not chill out. Step back and take a sip and then... So, wait, what? The left trigger. Favorite TV show. Top three. I feel like I know your answers, but just go ahead and give them to me. Give them to them, rather. <laughs> oh, man. This is probably, like, the hardest question. Top, I, I top five, if you really have to. Okay. In, in no order. Because right. Because I can't do it in but order. Sorry. Try to play while you're doing it. I can't. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, in no order. Top five favorite TV shows. Grace Anatomy. Wow, okay. I mean, yeah, I get it. But okay. Community. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I know one, um, so I think I want to say it for you just to help you out a little bit. It? New Girl? Yes. Yeah. This is the next one I was going to say. I thought so too. Oh, gosh. Is the office up there? So I, I've said three? You've said three Grey's Anatomy, Community, New Girl. Hang back. You've got all the Estes in the world. Literally as much S's as you could possibly have. Vampire Diaries. I was expecting that one pretty soon. Yeah, Vampire Diaries. Surprisingly solid, by the way, for all you boyfriends who have to watch Vampire Diaries with your girlfriends. Still okay. What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. What? <laughs> Nothing. I'm like, I'm giving future Josh some, like, hey, see what I'm doing here? Do that. Help your girl out. Try not to use your fire, because you'll need that. Really? Yeah. Dang it. It's okay. These guys are good to know. You can backstab them too, by the way. I mean, that one is backs to a pillar, though. Pretty hard to do that. Okay. Grey's Anatomy, Community, yeah. The Office... Uh, new Girl. New Girl. Grey's Anatomy, Community, New Girl, Vampire Diaries. I have one more. You have one more. Can I do, like, recent... You can like do, you can time. do whatever because I feel like I feel like I know the last one too. What? If it's not the office, it's Shit's Creek. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, those are that is a solid list though. I'm shocked that the office isn't top five. I know I love it. I feel I like mean, it's probably it, it's definitely top ten. Top ten, yeah. Yes. It makes honorable mentions for you. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be hard, so I want to kind of walk you through this. Look over the edge. Okay, it's right there. See that? Yeah. You want to go up a little bit and then jump over that railing. Beautiful. I did it. Good job. Great job. Uh, keep going straight. Or would you rather open up a shortcut so you don't have to do that? You can just run up the staircase. Sure. That's to your left. Where am I going? There's a door in the corner of the room to the right. You'll have to. I think it's easier if you kill him. You, I mean, if you're just trying to get the shortcut, you can probably use fire and then not worry about it. I'm just trying to... You can't. You cannot. You I need, can't? If anything, you need to go back up and lure him to the oh very gosh. top. Yeah, but I'm trying to tell you, you need to kill him. I can't. Never mind. Okay. 
Well, if you lure them all the way over here, you can circle them around. No, 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 you got it, you got no, it. No, I don't want to well, do it. Oh, it's too late. You can't go that way. No, it's the other way. There you, you go. Oh, uh, that's what I was trying to say. Like, if you're committing to it, you just have to do it. That's okay. That's okay. My top five favorite TV shows. <laughs> um, number one community. Favorite TV show. Absolutely the best one. Amazing writing. Number two. The Office. I just couldn't get into Parks and Rec. I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of people with that one. But I just couldn't get into it. I, I'll give it a fair go, like, pretty soon, I think. <sighs> I can't get this guy without using fire. That's okay. Kill him with fire. Kill the other guy with fire. And open up that shortcut. And then you can ignore both of them. Community. The office. Definitely. Probably Rick and Morty. Really? Yeah, I do really enjoy it. It's, it's a fun show. Stranger Things is up there. It's a really fun show. And I've heard a lot of people say, like, it's gone on for too long already. What? I know. Like, like big people who study writing. Oh. You're kidding. It's okay. This guy is an obstacle. This is a learning this curve area. This is where I'm going to die a hundred times. It's okay. If it does happen, it happens. and It sucks. It does. Because I'd rather you didn't die at all. You know, we got through Sense Fortress like nothing. That's, that's a rare thing. We need to acknowledge how cool it is. Um, but deaths will happen. And they do suck. I'm sorry. What's my fifth favorite show, Jen? You know me really well. What shows do I like? Supernatural. Oh, I love Supernatural seasons one through five because that's when the <laughs> show actually ends. <laughs> you can do it. This, I can already feel like this is going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this oh, already. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are we doing this? We need to level up so much. R.I.P. <laughs> See that door back there? That's it. So you gotta find a, you gotta find a good cheeky way around him, and then a cheeky oh, way around. Lord. Hard to the left, to the left. Oh, that was a great roll, though. Obviously, it wasn't, but it <laughs> was. <laughs> Caught on the wall. Remember, it's to your right. There you go. Okay, you're doing great. I don't know how far they follow you, but I wouldn't imagine it's here. Good idea. Great idea, actually. Okay. Next gets an A oh. question. Oops. Next gets an A question. Um, oh what superpower would you want if you could have any superpower? Um, either invisibility or reading minds. Uh, I always heard that like if you pick invisibility, you're a mischievous person. Really? I don't know if I'm I agree not. with that. Okay. You're good. You got a little time before smoke comes on. My superpower I would pick is... And I did this before Rick and Morty, in case anybody was Whoa, curious. Whoa, do you see? Did you yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Oh, watch happen? out. Yeah, it happens quite a bit. They can actually hit you through the door, too, in case this fight wasn't unfair enough. <laughs> My favorite superpower, if I could pick one, would be save states. So, like, I could save right now and then um, live through this moment. And then if it goes poorly, I can just load back up the save and go uh -oh. through. Didn't get one hit. That's okay. Done. I'm sorry. But you get there. Do it. You do it. Got this. You got this. Go to his right. Per perfect. Perfect. And then... Uh, Trick this guy up. What was your uh, favorite subject in high school? Favorite subject? I always loved my English teachers, but I was terrible at English, which is why it was my major. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how, what would you say that it was? How? How was it? How was I terrible at it? Yes. I remember when I had to write an essay in ninth grade, I got the lowest grade possible. On it. <laughs> like I failed it super hard, and I was like, I actually put effort into it. Like I worked on it. And that teacher loved me, too, so that's how I know it was like, I wrote a trash essay, it was really bad. And now I feel like I can, um, I got really good at it. Okay. Um, next question. Oh, what was your favorite subject? What was your favorite subject? Um, 
I really liked social studies, but I was really bad at it too, honestly. <laughs> so what's the what's the hang up here? Because you made it your major. That's the, That's what's confusing? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, I follow. I get it. Weird. Um, I hated English. I was okay in algebra, but geometry got a zero on a yeah, test that, that I actually, actually tried. On, so <laughs> pretty reflective. Um, and then like science, I wasn't very good at it either. I just had the weirdest science classes. Like, I don't know why I was in those classes. I loved, I was in a forensics class in high school where we learned about like, you know, crime scene investigation, that kind of thing. Sorry. Sorry. But did you that was one hit. Did you see how did you see how hard you hit him though? Yeah. That's really good. If you focus him with fire, you'll you'll do really well. Okay, well that's another question. Um what's your favorite superstition? My favorite? Yeah. You what said you you, you said you were a little stitious. So what's your favorite thing to be stitious about? Um like, can you give me some examples of like superstition? Um, don't walk under ladders, uh, hold your I breath mean, by when, when graveyard. Do you do that? <laughs> well, I avoid walking under ladders at all costs. Well, yeah, but I'm just like... Well, I don't know why. So I'm not like... I'm not superstitious, but I like. I guess it's more of a game to me. I like to avoid things like that. I like to hold my breath when I come across a graveyard. Yeah, that one I do, but just because it's fun. It is fun. That's my favorite one, I think. Because we have kind of a cute little ritual when we do it. <laughs> that sounds like we're crazy cultists. <laughs> no, we... Uh, Every, there's a cemetery that we drive by quite a bit whenever we're leaving town, and every time we go by it, we kind of ask each other, like, are you ready? And then we hold our breaths and we go, and it's, it's fun. Fun little thing we do. Um, your shield is working wonders, though. Might I add. See? That would have done, that would have knocked you out if that wasn't maxed out. Or not maxed out, but as high as it can be right now. Great roll. I mean, oh my gosh! <laughs> what a way to go! What a way to go! Perfect. Okay. <laughs> you gave it. You gave it a great effort. Really. Um. Next time we'll see if there's maybe we can level you up a little bit, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Sounds cool. good. I am proud of you though. You got here. You made it this far. And Orlando part two next time. Critical chemistry. <laughs> Ornstein and Smo were a bit more than we could handle today, but next time on Critical Chemistry, we're dedicating an entire episode to the dubious duo of Anne Orlando. If you're enjoying the series so far, subscribe to the channel. The journey is still far from over, and we'd love for you to see every bit of it as soon as possible. Also, check out the Black Hat Lounge subreddit. There's a link in the description. Thanks for hanging around, and we hope to see you again in the Black Hat Lounge.